what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? New York rapper Benny the Butcher is the latest rapper to be shot in Texas. Just last week, Mo3 was shot in Dallas and Boosie was shot just a couple of days ago. Fam, it's hell to be a rapper these days. Backstory, they say that Benny had pulled up at a Walmart in uh, Southwest Houston in his Rolls Royce with two other people. As they were exiting the vehicle, they say some men, five guys jumped out and drew down on him to try to rob him of his jewelry. He takes off running, dudes start popping. They pop him in the leg. They say that the other two people that was with him was uninjured. Police are looking for other suspects, they say. Y'all think they'll find him? I don't. I don't think they'll even look. If they find him, it'll have to be some snitching going on and they will snitch. They will self snitch. They will get on the internet and tell you exactly what they did and what time. And they'll make sure that you know they did it. At the minimum, at the minimum, they're going to tell their girl or whoever they lay up in the bed with. They will do some pillow talking or they will go to the block and rat themselves out. Five dudes committing a crime, that's a recipe for snitching. Ain't no way they're gonna be able to hold it in. Now, the question is, when they do put the information out there, will the police be interested enough to follow up? That's what's unknown. I said it a thousand times, fam. It's your jewelry. It's your money. You earned it. You can do whatever you want to do with it. But you have to exercise caution because it's a lot of little cats running around here right now, fam. And they don't do no thinking. They just get guns and just go take some. Let's go jack somebody. You know, you know oh, start shooting. Can't even control the gun, just shoot. And they, for what? Some damn jewelry? Half the time the stuff be knockoff jewelry. So you gonna shoot somebody? Possibly over some knockoff jewelry? Let's say the jewelry was real. How much can you really get for it? You got five dudes, let's bust it down. Let's just bust down the average take on a robbery, like an armed robbery, right? Uh, you know, uh, um, well, actually, they would call that a, what type of robbery would that be called? In any event, robbery, whatever. But let's just say the average take is about, I don't know, what, a couple thousand dollars? Let's go a little higher for the rapper. Let's say 20, 30 racks. Let's just say, say $30,000. Let's say if they had gotten 30000 out of the deal. You got five dudes who got to bust down $30,000. Let's just say it was three dudes, just to make simple math. Three dudes busting down $30,000. Each guy get 10 racks a piece. That's if they get away with the money. Each guy gets 10 racks a piece. If they go to jail, if they get caught up, which at some point they will. They may not get caught up on that robbery, but they'll get caught up on nothing because all of a sudden they get away with a few robberies and they think they're professional. So they'll keep doing it until they get caught. So let's just say they get jammed up. Everybody got 10,000 out of the deal. When you get jammed, the lawyer gonna cost more than $10,000. So right there, that's money you ain't got. Let's say you go to prison. Let's say you do 10 years 
which is usually they're going to give you a lot more than that, especially for a murder. But let's just be conservative. Ten years, the judge felt good on that particular day. Ten years, you got $10,000. That means that you earn $1,000. You really didn't earn $1,000, but let's just say you got $30,000. I mean, that, I mean that's $1,000 for each year that you do. That's what your take was. $1,000 a year comes out to less than $100 a month. Now you got a jacket on your back, you're doing time, you're missing your family. If you got any kids, some other man going to watch them grow up and perhaps perhaps even violate them while you tucked away in your so-called vacation trying to adjust to prison life. So, just not good numbers to me, fam. You dig what I'm saying? The odds are just not good. You know, even with the snitching with five dudes and even three dudes, it's just, you know, breaking the money down and what we gonna get, we don't even know how much the take is gonna be. We don't even know if we gonna get something, if, if, if there's any money involved at all. You don't even know if the jewelry is real or not. But you're doing all of that for somebody else's stuff. To me, it just don't make sense. It's just not good numbers to me. It's not, the odds are not good at all. These dudes, they sit around doing nothing but looking for opportunities. So why you stunting on the ground? Why you going live and streaming saying, look at me, check me out. I said, hey, we doing, we got the drip, we doing this, we partying, oh, throw the money up and all that stuff. It's some sucker out there watching you like this. They watching. They watching and waiting. They got the guns. Don't give them the ammunition. They are already looking to get at you. Don't help them. Don't aid them. Don't draw attention to yourself. And if you're one of them Jack boys out there, be careful, man, because Jackers get jacked. And Jackers get killed also. Jackers end up doing a whole bunch of time. You know any retired Jackers? Like, you know, like I'm talking about the dude who got the house on the hill, got all the money, you know, he uh, got all of his senses, got his leg, got all of his limbs, watched his kids grow up, was there for him every single day, every year, every week, every month. You know anybody like that? That's a jacker? I didn't think so. Not good odds. It just trips the hell out of me that dudes can shoot over so little. Black folks, of course. They ain't got the guts to do anybody else. They ain't, they're not built like that. This dude got shot basically over nothing. They say he went to Walmart to pick up some items. So this dude just put it up and he gets shot trying to go inside the store to grab a couple things. After I heard about Benny getting shot, I thought to myself, who would have thought the day would come that it would be more dangerous to be a rapper than a drug dealer? No more talk. What the haters talking about? <laughs>